hello everyone welcome to my channel so for this video today i'm going to be doing a simple french acrylic set and i'm going to show y'all how i make it so right now right here i have the short um almond nails press on nails that i had gotten about a few months ago i did show a video of me making a uh, valentine's day set with the shape and length so if you want to check it out i'll put the video up here where the link down below but right now I'm just prepping my nails and making sure that around the cuticle line it's a little bit more circle-ish because with these type of nails, especially if they're short, they tend to go more squarish and too wide. So I like to just narrow it down a bit by filing the bottom part of the nails. And then I'm just prepping it by getting rid of the shine just to make sure that acrylic stick on really good. And I shape them up really nicely just to make sure that they're nice and even. After dusting the nails and cleaning them off with some alcohol, I went ahead and go in with my um, nude acrylic from Not Polish. And this is one of my favorite colors in the whole wide world. Um, this is called Nude Me. And as you can see, I got a huge container of it because it's just one of my main favorite nudes that I love doing for many nude sets, including French tip acrylic nails. These are my favorite type of um, acrylic to use. So I'm just applying just a little bit on the nails just to add some thickness and also to build the apex just a bit with these type of nails especially them being short you don't want to put too much acrylic on it otherwise they'll look thick and bulky and we don't want thick turtle nails we want you know a pretty good natural you know close to natural looking set so for me i'm very impatient so i'm trying to do the 1b method for a majority of my nails because i just want to get it all done in one you know stroke without having to you know do too much um adjusting as far as building the nails so and if there's anything I have to adjust as you can see I just add just a little bit of, of a bead on the side just to make sure everything is nice and even I absolutely love not polish this acrylic just because it goes on so buttery and it's so easy to control as far as how I put the acrylic on and it's perfect for doing one B sets just because it doesn't set too fast so it gives me plenty of time to work the acrylic now if it is hot in my room then it will set a lot more faster just because with all acrylics um, it when it you know starts hardening and curing it actually creates heat because that heat helps speed up the process of hardening it so when your room is hot it makes the acrylic um cure a lot more quicker but so far so good you know the acrylic was easy to work with at this temperature i think it was like slightly warm in my room but not too warm because i did have the ac going All right, so that's how the nails look like after I applied the acrylic. And once they got nice and cured up, I just went ahead and started buffing the nails. And because the nails were already pretty good as it is, like the acrylic uh, was applied very well, it didn't really take much to file the nails at all. So I just used the same sand a bit just to shape the nails up, get them nice and smoothed out. And then I also used a um, buffer to um, buff the nails of the surface and smooth everything out. I wasn't able to show much of that process which i'm sure nobody really want to see the whole thing anyways but um you know that, that's a really important step because especially when i'm doing nail art i want a nice smooth surface to work on i don't want no you know scratch marks or anything like that so that's really important and also it gets rid of any leftover hang over acrylic any like um you know little bits or just whatever sticking onto the nail it just quickly buff that off so yeah i did that to the nails and then afterwards i cleaned them off with some more rubbing alcohol uh, just to make sure they're nice and clean and that's when i got started on the french acrylic process so once i cleaned my nails off now i'm going to be using this madame glam polish called perfect white and um usually i don't use this polish but because i did not have any more of the white polish from there um it's like their paint polish that's a lot more thicker and pigmented usually i use that but unfortunately it has leaked out um i had it sit it to the side and a lot of the white polish just got everywhere unfortunately so it was not usable so i had to throw it away so i did have to use this polish which is still pretty good um it still has a good amount of pigment in it it's just you have to work with it a little bit more 
and make sure that that color is really packed on there before you cure it under the lamp and the only reason why I like using um, Madame Glam's paint polishes is because not only they're a lot more pigmented but then you only have to do one coat of it and it leaves the surface a lot more smoother but I mean it came out still good with this polish it just for me I had to manipulate it a little bit more just to make sure that color was nice and even So pretty much the way how I do my Frenchies is I just start off as a rough draft just drawing the shape of the French on top of the nail and then I just take some rubber alcohol and this French tip brush and I just dip the brush into the alcohol and then I'm just cleaning the shape up a little bit more just to make sure it's nice and smooth and really giving it that nice deep French look. So um, that's a little trick that I like to do when I'm doing Frenchies. It just makes the job a lot more easier and it doesn't take me too long to create the shape. And then that's pretty much how I'm doing it for the rest of the nails. Okay, so after I cure the nails in a um, lamp for 60 seconds, this is how they end up looking like. And you can see the shape and the color and just the overall look of the French tips are just so good looking right now. So the only thing we got to finish off with is a top coat, which is from IGL Beauty. I use this top coat very, very faithfully just because it's very affordable and it does such a good job of just um, keeping the shine on the nails and at the same time it's a non-wipe so I don't have to wipe any sticky layer off of the nails afterwards with a alcohol wipe so once I paint these nails they are good to go and you can see how the top coat just brings out that nude color a little bit more deeper and richer it just really makes every design that you did on the nails just pop out really good and then I went ahead and cured that in the lamp for 60 seconds as well Okay, so after curing the nails under the lamp for 60 seconds, this is how the nails came out looking. As you can see, they came out really, really good. Uh, such a classic look. You gotta love French tips. I'm never gonna get tired of them, so I'm always gonna be doing French tips uh, to the day I'm gone, all right? And they look so good on almond nails too because the almond shape just lasts a long time and it doesn't wear out as much as other shapes do. But right now, as you can see, I'm just applying these nails on because I just cannot wait to put these on. So pretty much I'm just pushing back my cuticles to expose all the dead skin. And then I'm just using my sand a bit that I use for my nails to just um, buff that surface off just a little bit and get rid of all that dead skin. And then I cleaned it off with an alcohol wipe to make sure it was nice and clean. And then I applied also a dehydrator, which I think is really important just to get rid of any excess oils on the skin because you want this very dry to really make that glue stick on for a very, very long time. 
So then I'm just applying the glue onto the nail and then I'm applying it to my natural nails and just pressing it in really good. Now, if you do get some glue oozing out, which is usually what I do, sometimes I get some glue oozing out because I put too much, just wipe it away very quickly after the nail sticks on really good. If you wipe it away too slow, you can get some glue stuck onto your fingers and onto the nail, which could affect the shine of the nails and you don't want that. So just wipe it away very quickly and you should be good. So after applying all the nails, this is how the whole set looks like. And as you can see, it looks just like an acrylic set. And I didn't have to use my non-dominant hand to do the Frenchie. So everything looks even, which is great. It makes this so much more convenient for me, especially since I switch up my nails every week. And this is how it looks like in the sun. You can see that nude just looks so good with my skin tone. And overall, just a really beautiful set. So with that being said, I'll see y'all next time on my next video. Don't forget, I also sell this set on my Etsy site. So you can click the link down below in the bio. And also, don't forget to follow me on my social media pages right here. So you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, whichever one works for you. Otherwise than that, I'll see y'all next time. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed this. And I'll see y'all on my next one. Bye.